it, it gives me great pleasure to talk about our special uh, recipient of our, of our special award for tonight. Uh, and I've got some notes here that I'm going to actually read some of it. Um, so tonight we want to acknowledge and celebrate the retirement. Really, Dr. DeWine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of, our, of our director of our behavioral health uh, program, our very successful program. Um, so 15 years ago, because you're celebrating your 15th year anniversary with us, in November of 2001, Dr. DeWar was hired with National Health Services before our organization became known as Omni Family Health. Uh, she was hired at that time as our clinical health education coordinator, responsible for overseeing the promotions and health education department. A couple of years later, in 2003, Dr. DeVar was promoted to Associate Director of Clinical and Health Education Services. She served in this role for two years before she became the Associate Director of Case and Disease Specific Management, uh, a role that she served for um, about seven years all the way through 2011. Then in 2011, Dr. DeVar was promoted to our Director of Behavioral Health. And it's my pleasure because I'm the one that promoted you. And it was, it was a very, very well-deserved promotion, Dr. DeWire. Prior to her time with Omni, Dr. DeWire spent a number of years pursuing her education. Her and I have had chit-chats in the past, and she has uh, shared with me how much education is valued, not only by Dr. DeWire, but her entire family, especially her parents. So Dr. Duar graduated in high school at the age of 15. And by the age of 17 years old, she graduated with her first bachelor's degree in wow. English. Wow. By the age of 17, remarkable. <laughs> a year and a half later, she graduated with her second bachelor's degree in education, a couple of years later. Then in 1974, Dr. Duar had only two not only did she have two bachelor's degrees, but she also, also had two master's degrees. Uh, the first in guidance counseling from the University of Wisconsin uh, Stout, and the second in special education with the emphasis in emotional disturbance from the University of Kansas. Then in 2002, while working with Omni, uh, Dr. Duar became Dr. Mona Duar when she received her doctorate in clinical psychology and special education. <laughs> By 2006, Dr. DeWar had been an employee of Omni for about five years, and throughout that time, she had noticed there was a significant need for behavioral health services, especially for children and adults within our community. With the support of the organization, she turned her attention to developing a behavioral health program. This program began with only two staff members, uh, one front office clerk and one psychiatrist. So in the first year, uh, we provided behavioral health services to about 860 patients in the community, 860. Then, 10 years later, mm -hmm. Under Dr. DeWar's leadership, this program has become a complete department, now employing 11 providers, six social workers, and six Omni Health at six Omni Health locations. In 2015, we saw over 7,600 uh, behavioral health uh, patients from the 860 over 7,000. A remarkable 786 percent increase uh, in patients over the last 10 years. Thank you. Omni has been incredibly fortunate to benefit from Dr. Stewart's leadership and vision in this area. In addition to Dr. Stewart's professional accomplishments. She is also the proud mother of two children, 
her son Nevin, a successful lawyer and real estate agent, and her daughter Melanie, who has recently giving, given Dr. Dewar the gift of a beautiful baby granddaughter named Bella. <laughs> And uh, Dr. Dewar and Dr. Saeed were sharing with me uh, some of the pictures. Absolutely beautiful. I told her she looked like her grandmother. <laughs> In fact, it is our understanding that Dr. Dewar's new status as a grandmother led her to make the decision to retire from her post as our Director of Behavioral Health. And while she will be missed at Omni, we're also very confident that her legacy will live on in our thriving health, de behavioral health department. So without further ado, Dr. Dewar, I'm gonna ask you to please come up here and enjoy uh, the round of applause from all of us that honor and respect you. with a few words. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Castrion has basically given everything. Just uh, very grateful to hear him say all those nice things about me. I'm going to be eternally indebted to Omni and Mr. Castrion, Mr. Martinez, and the support, encouragement, and confidence they always had I mean, provided support and con uh, encouragement to me. Mm -hmm. Today we have a very excellent behavior health department with six psychiatrists, including Dr. Saeed. Yeah. And uh, we were able to get a full-time psychiatrist who is doing very well and full-time clinical psychologist, Dr. Mm -hmm. McConnell, who is the deputy director of the department now. Mm -hmm. And and we have six social work uh, therapists, five, and sixth one is coming, Lisa Giuliani, on Monday. And we are just growing and growing. And because the Omni has given me a full reign of the department and that believed in me that I mm -hmm. could do it, yep. you know. And I have, this is the biggest accomplishment of my life besides having two wonderful children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of being part of such a wonderful organization mm -hmm. all these 15 years. When I came here on 9-11 with Melanie, within a month I had a job, mm -hmm. a month and a half, and I never turned back mm -hmm. because uh, uh, the organization was always behind me in mm -hmm. every role I, I played in this organization. I'm very, very grateful to every one of you, specifically the, the executive team that supported me. Mr. Castion, I'm very, very indebted to you. Thank you so much. We are you. Thank you so much for your kindness this evening. This moment will live with me for the rest of my life. Thank you so much. as our token of our appreciation and our love for you, Dr. Dewar. And I'd like to present you to oh. first some, some beautiful flowers oh. that you can take a look at and enjoy, and then I'm gonna put it back on the table. <laughs> <laughs> because we got you a special gift. Oh my goodness that, gracious. That uh, uh, it comes from us, from the bottom of our hearts to you. And uh, we're hoping that it's something that you'll be able to, uh, whenever you see it, you'll think of us. Of course. So let, allow me to present that to Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Should she so open it now or later? I can't wait yeah. to go on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's about seven boxes. No. 
Oh my goodness gracious, Tiffany and Company! Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness, look at this pendant! Wow, Dr. Syed! Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> It's a small token of our appreciation uh, for a, a, a class act professional person that you are, Dr. Duar. Uh, so thank you so much, for, you so much for all your amazing contributions to Domi Family Health. I'll still be there, Mr. Castillo. There you go. <laughs> thank you so much. Flowers, no flowers. Oh, flowers, yes. I want to be like a beauty queen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.